This is a demonstration of the ColorMax View color sensor from EMX Industries. The sensor consists of a receiver unit that contains the electronics and the control circuitry and a light source, a white LED light source, uh, that can be remotely mounted to look through uh, various types of translucent materials. Uh, the Windows application software which we have running on the computer here shows the in real time the RGB levels of the signal between the transmitter and the receiver. So, so what we're going to do first is we have a number of uh, acceptable and unacceptable uh, amber containers and we're going to take three of the known good containers ranging from 2.5, I'm sorry, 2%, 2 2.5 and 3% and we're going to program the sensor using the multi-teach programming uh, to set up our color recognition channel. So what we have here are the RGB levels and in this area we have the recognized color status and we're going to select channel 1 from the drop box we're going to look at color and luminosity and we're going to do multi sample teach so we're going to place the first container which is a two percent acceptable container and we're going to hit the teach and we're going to take RGB readings then we're going to take the next acceptable container which is a 2.5 and we're going to hit the teach again and what the multi-teach does, the multi-sample teach does, is it creates uh, tolerances that will include the samples that we've put in our multi-sample teach so we want to include these as being a match or an acceptable sample so let's go to the the last which is a three percent hit the teach okay so now we've extended the teach to, to uh, include all the samples that we've uh, we've looked at here with the sensor and we're going to say okay So that's the first one. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a two and a half percent. We show a match. This is the two percent. Again, we show a match. And this is the acceptable three percent. And again, we show a match. So those will all show up as being acceptable. So now let's look at some of the unacceptable, unacceptable samples. This is a 3.5 percent. So we place that between the light source and the receiver and we see we no longer show a match on channel 1. So the discrete output which can be set for NPN or PNP operation is now not going to be activated indicating that this is a bad part or unacceptable. Here is a 4 percent, a little darker even. As you can see our RGB levels are very low here and again the channel 1 recognition indicator uh, does not show that this is a match to our programmed acceptable parts and this is a 1.5 percent sample now you can see our RGB levels are very high this is a very uh, much lighter sample than the acceptable samples so RGB levels are very high and again we're showing there is no match on channel 1 so that is an unacceptable part and then finally a very clear part which is simply labeled very light put that in the sample area and you can see we're saturated on the green and very high on the red and the blue signal level so and it also we show that there's no match for this particular sample so let's go back to the acceptable samples there's our three Again, we see that that is indicated as a match and that is acceptable. Two, again, indicates a match, another acceptable part. And then finally, two and a half, which is our, I 
believe our target value. And again, we show a match on channel one. So the discrete output on the on the uh, sensor's output line, the NP, 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 would indicate to the external system that these are all acceptable parts. So that's the ColorMax view demonstration on the amber containers.